Hello, in this video I'm going to show you how you can use animation montages to blend animations together. So if I press this one button, I have this attack animation montage which I have blended to play only on the top half of my player character's body. So when I'm doing things like moving, I can play it and it will just play the top half of that animation onto my player character. And then we'll also set up um, slots so I can play full body animation montages if I want to, like this dancing one. So in this tutorial, I'm going to be using the default third person character from the third person template, but if you have your own character and your own animations, the same logic will still apply. Hello! To get started, we're first going to import the animations that we're going to blend with our character. If we just go to the content drawer and select dot in layout to make this permanently here, then just go over to the characters folder, to mannequins, animations, then to the mani folder, then if you briefly close Unreal Engine, Somewhere in the description of this video, there's going to be a link to some animations that you can download if you want to follow along. Just make sure to download them, and then if we just select both of these animations, and just drag and import them into this folder. When we import them, make sure to just select the SK Mannequin Scanton, then just go import all. Next, if we just find the zombie attack animation montage, and open it up, we're going to blend the top half of this animation onto our player character. So our player character will continue doing whatever animations they have on their legs, then we'll just blend this top half of this animation. To do that, we're going to use something called slots. So we can basically make it so certain animations are in certain slots. We're going to assign this animation to our upper body slot. To specify what slot an animation goes to, we can just go here. Then if we just go to slot manager, we can see the list of slots that we already have. So there's an upper body slot, there's a default slot, and there's a full body slot. If we want to, we can even create our own slots. So if I just click add slot here, this will allow me to create a new slot. I'm just gonna call this the upper body two slot. Then if I just go here where it says slot, then go to slot name. And if we just change this to be the slot name that we just made, upper body two slot, this will change it. So this animation montage is part of that slot. If we just save this, then close this, then go over to the silly dancing animation montage and we can just leave this at the default slot. Next, if we find our character's animation blueprint, and a little shortcut, if we just click this um, thing here, this will take us to our character's animation blueprint. And we just want to go over to the animation graph. And we just want to drag off this main state and look for save, cache pose, and just call this main states. So these are the main animations that my character does. Then if we just right click and look for use cache pose main states and just copy and paste this twice then just drag off here and look for layer blend per bone. Just drag off here and look for default slot. Then if we just select the slot and we just want to change it to be the upper body two slot. Then connect from here into here and just connect from here into here. Next, if we select this layered blend per bone, we can basically specify where in our character's um, bone we want to blend the animation from. So we're gonna be blending all of the animations from our character's upper body two slot onto our character's spine bone. So if we just select here, then go to layer setup, click here, and then go add array element. If I just click here, we can specify the bone name that we basically want to play our animations on top of. If you click this little skeleton button, it will take us to our character's um, skeleton. Then if we just select the um, spine 01 bone, this is going to be where we're going to be blending our character's animations from. So just copy the name of this bone. So we can just go here and copy this. Then if we go back to our animation um, blueprint, here in the bone name, I'm just going to paste that. So this is now going to blend the upper body to slot animation montages on top of our spine 01 bone. And then this default slot is just going to play the animation through all of our character. And then for this default slot, if we have an animation montage in the default slot, then it's just going to play across the whole of our character. So we can compile and test this out. So if I just close this and then I go over to my character's blueprint and in some free space, if we just right click and look for the um, one key, I'm just doing this for testing purposes, so I'm not going to create a new input. But if I just drag off here and look for play animation montage, 
and when we press 1, let's make it play the zombie attack um, animation montage. So this is the thing that we assign to the upper body 2 slot. Then if I just right click again and look for the 2 key, when I press 2, I'm going to drag off here and look for play animation montage. And I'm going to select the silly dancing animation montage. And now if I go compile and I play this, if I play my game and I press 1, it's going to play that um, attacking animation montage on top of my character. So when I'm running, it will kind of uh, play that on top of it. If I stand still, then it's just going to play it. So with that, we've kind of assigned that animation to our upper body slot. And if I press 2, then it's going to play my full body animation. So with that, hopefully you now know how to blend animations together and use slots inside of Unreal Engine. If you enjoyed, like and subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye!